Cha 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 cha. That's right. I ha cha 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 now. You're know, still doing it, doing the dance. For those that are riding the ball later, but can't feeling the flow. They're missing yeah. an awesome, awesome shake content. Yeah, this is the content we're looking for. We uh, right. we're we're supposed to do the three things that transform your life. Number one is shake your shoulders like Elon. Uh. Uh, shake it, shake it. it, do it, yeah. boom! Transformation. My legs are doing right now, and yeah, those hips, those hips don't know. lie. I'm just happy you're wearing pants again. Oof! <laughs> I didn't tell you I was wearing pants. I don't know that you are. I'm just assuming. Anyway, hello, friends. Uh, hello, family. If you can hear these two, these two people <laughs> rambling on about things that don't matter, please say hello <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, let us know that you're, uh, you can hear us coming in good or well. Um, we're going to skip some of the, the, the normal introductions, but real short, for those of you guys who are, uh, are brand new to the community, uh, for sure let us know that you're new. Hey, Jana, nice to have you here. Um, <clears throat> generally, we would drop a link, so if you're seeing your name as Facebook user, but for some reason I don't have that link today, so we're going to skip that part. Um, here's what, if you guys are brand new to the community, first of all, I'm uh, Guy Ferdman, it's Elon Ferdman. Uh, this is a, a community we're very proud to have created and to have uh, tens of thousands of people all over the world to be participant of. Um, just so you guys know, these live trainings happen every single Tuesday. You can put these in your calendar. If you like these, we recommend coming back to them regularly. We talk about a host of different topics in terms of how to transform, heal, um, areas of your life, uh, how to increase performance, and certainly how you can apply that to both personal and professional business uh, settings in order to really feel major enhancements and upgrades in your life. Um, if you are new to the community and you have not grabbed the active healing meditation that we have in the group, we have probably tried to text you or email you. We know that everyone's all over the place today. So if you don't have that meditation, you want to type in, uh, you want to comment uh, meditation or meditate in the comment box and then someone from our team, Jasmine, Sarah, Lynn, Mel, Corey, <laughs> Tobias, it's a growing team, uh, will get that information over to you and then help you and support you in any other way that you uh, feel like you may want to be supported. Um, that meditation, even if you've done meditation before, even if you've sat in a 10 day, uh, you're very, very practiced. We've had people who have been meditating for 40 or 50 years begin these practices and say they are some of the most powerful practices they've ever done. And the reason for that is that these meditations are not about sitting there and trying to quiet your mind or anything like that. We actually train you how to begin to, to go into higher states of consciousness to metabolize energy in your body. And we're going to talk in great de detail today and give you guys information about why that's crucial for being able to rehabituate or recondition the mind for experiencing healing and for being able to pop and increase your performance substantially. So you want to do that meditation. You'll enjoy it because it's active. You don't just sit there and do nothing. Um, there's an actual process that you go through. And this will begin giving you the fundamentals of some of the work that we do here. And if you then choose to come do some more advanced stuff with us, you'll already be all set. You'll be like, oh, I know what these guys are talking about. And Elon and I can kind of jet jettison you parabolically into much, much higher states of uh, awareness than, than most people are experiencing right now. Um, so that's why you, again, want to comment meditation or meditate in the comment box and get your hands on that. We do recommend you do that practice minimum a few times a week, but ideally in the beginning, uh, take on about two to three weeks of just doing that uh, intensely. So you kind of get in the rhythm of what this practice is. And then once you kind of have it under your tool belt, you can follow the meditation or honestly, you could just 
do it on your own. Either way is fine. Um, but this is kind of our gift to you, whether you decide to do something with us or not. If you are one of these people, by the way, who is either recent in our community, you're still kind of getting your, your feet wet and you're trying to get a feel for what it is that we do here. Uh, one of the things that we'll remind you of again uh, towards the end of this webinar or to, not webinar, but this, this training is that you can get support from uh, our team. Right, so you can actually jump on a, a free 15 minute um, support discovery call with our team. And those calls are really for you guys to get your questions answered about what it is that we do here, our programs, how this training works, and really make a, a choice whether you wanna participate in what it is that we offer here. Um, everything that we have for you guys is built on really foundational principles that Elon and I have spent over 20 years, 40 years collectively here, and well over a million dollars in our own education, going all over the world, uh, learning from incredible teachers and masters, all sorts of different variety of techniques that we have boiled down to like fundamental principles that we call the awareness effect. And these are very, very simple things to do. Uh, there's probably people here in the comment box right now that were, our, were at our live event this past weekend. Uh, those events are held every two to three months or so. Uh, we have these intensives, so that's one opportunity to participate. But for those of you guys who are like, uh, I know that I want to make a change in my life right now. I want to I want to transform my relationships. I want to transform my business. I want to approach uh, my health in a different way. I want to approach communication in a different way. I want to feel different. Ultimately, it's like I want to feel different. I want to I want to stop reenacting this trauma from my past. These patterns that I see. These things that keep showing up in different varieties in my life. The same challenges over and over again. This work is about how do we. Uh, go beyond that, right? How do we alleviate that stress inside the body so that we're not producing um, the same type of results or different variations of the same type of results in our lives? If you're that type of person, that call is certainly for you. And then you can explore that with our team and we can give you the details and uh, time and financials and all that kind of stuff that's involved in doing here. But I want you to know we've kind of set up the Ascension model that wherever you are, whether you have a little bit of money and that's what you're struggling with or you're somebody who's, uh, you know, want to really advance quickly in your life or your business, we, we have a, a plethora of things that you can do with us. So please, 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 if you have the motivation, you are a person who's like, I'm just looking for something to dive into that's really going to make a difference in my life. We got we got some goods over here. So uh, that's my uh, take on it. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, three levels of transformation and kind of taking you guys through like a, a specific model that we see most people kind of go through from when they're either just getting started to really more ad advanced um, thinking and practices that really accelerate growth. And Elon, I wanted to maybe kind of switch it up today and just talk about like you know, usually we talk about these like layers and we can certainly touch on those too, but I want to just like, you know, to throw this in your court too, not to put you on the spot, but uh, like what are the three things that we ultimately would tell, like if you, if you nail this, like you do these three things in your life, right? You do this regular practices, like there, there is no way that your life is not going to transform. For sure. Okay. So you got that? Um, do you, so like, which practices or yeah like we could talk about the levels of mind that we that we normally discuss uh and i want to say like you know what are the three things that if someone came to you right now and they're like okay i want to if i just had to do one to three things in my life and i you know just five to ten minutes a day and i did that my life would transform i kind of have a few in my mind too but just to kind of hit the ball over to you um and if you know yeah, I'm gonna give that to you. It's hard. To, it's hard to hit a ball to you when you're moving around so much. But uh, yeah, why don't you? What is it? What is it that you would offer offer the folks listening? Um, I know what I would, but I, I'm just curious. Then we'll kind of ping pong the uh, conversation back and forth. We'll see what we come out with today. Um, I have a few. Hit me. I have a few. And, and 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 talk about the you know. I think we can move through the levels a little bit faster today. Like, you know, where do people get started and what their mindset is? And then like, you know, what are the practices and why, why do we know if, with guarantee that this, this stuff works? Let, let's go on this path. Um, honestly, the first one is finding a practitioner to do sits with and work with, I think is like the most paramount thing. Cause this 
to have this work be done, and I actually just started reading a very interesting book, which um, has been studying what it means to actually like hold presence for another. Um, and they're actually studying how when we can be with someone's nervous system that has more safety or more access to ground or more access to spaciousness than ours, which most people don't because they've never been trained on how to do it, it actually allows you to borrow that energetic safety from them and allows you to dive into layers that you've never been able to dive into before. Can and you so, define those can you define those two things for people? Like how do you define presence? How do you define spaciousness? And then even like what are the access to those things? Because those are words that people might think they understand the meaning of, but I from from the point of view that we're looking at it from the spiritual healing uh, modalities, like just give a little bit of clarity there for that. So basically what happens is most humans nervous systems. So this is not your mental system, right? Like you can convince yourself that you're fine. You, you, you can empower yourself with all these amazing reframe and, you know, restory and all that stuff. You can tell yourself that like, I'm fine. This is not a big deal. I can power through this. Right. But the nervous system, you can't lie to. And so the nervous system for most people is in a fight, flight, or freeze response 99% of the time. And I think COVID and this whole world that we are currently living in exacerbates it even more and more and more. So when your nervous system is all bound up and like really freaking out inside, right? What happens as soon as that goes into that place, there are protection mechanisms built into the body that help you kind of survive that moment, okay? And so what most people do, and, and someone wrote me um, a message before, and, and she was saying that like, she's never felt peace before, ever in her life, like ever. And through our two-day weekend, like she for the first time ever, ever actually experienced that. Now, what that means is that when you can sit and your nervous system learns just like a child does, it learns by witnessing and, and feeling like, right? Like for those of you guys that have kids, you know, you can tell your kid, Hey, do this, do this, do this, but they're going to always do what they see. Right? So your nervous system, very similarly, it does that. But because we live in a world where everyone's nervous system is pinged and everyone's nervous system in fight or flight, then the only re reprieve is, you know, smoking weed, drinking alcohol, eating ourselves into a stupor, running, right? Like, like some sort of exercise, things like that. And people say like, oh my God, you know, I need that glass of wine when I come home or when I run, I really lose myself or swim. I really lose. Yes. Because your nervous system in those moments is like, oh, so when I say sit with someone, there are practitioners in this world, not that many, but there are practitioners in this world that when you sit with, they're not going to process you. They're not going to take you back to the trauma and go, you know, tell me about how you felt when your mom did this or, you know, all that talk therapy stuff, which is great. But at the end of the day, here's my take after doing it for 15 years, you get a lot of good labels. I'm angry because this thing happens or I'm you know, upset because of this thing happened, or I feel lonely because of this thing happening. And you have all these labels, but it doesn't actually ever hit the core of that wounding. And I so think it actually, I think it actually gives you a, a, like it lulls you into a false sense of like that you have a grasp on it because you have a word to call it. And so you think, Oh, I know, I know what that is now. So when that happens, I'll know, but truth be told the way the kind of like conscious mind and unconscious mind interact with each other is the unconscious mind is really going to determine the quality of your life. If, if the conscious mind determines, sorry, bro, to take this from you. If the conscious mind determine the quality of our lives, we could all just sit here and go, it's time to be a millionaire. It's time to heal my body. It's time to find the one, you know, and like those things will just happen very quickly because there you are aware and present of what, what it is that you want and desire. So why wouldn't you take the actions consistent with that and, and have feelings consistent with that. Right. But oftentimes we have like a, 
a, like a tug and pull inside of our system that's like I have a conscious desire but my my unconscious the subconscious the part of me that I don't have access to is yanking me in a different direction or having me feel stress or fear in a moment where I need to take action moving forward and so we really want to understand that like at the when you're getting labels you're getting you're getting information at the level of the conscious mind and even then you may have thoughts that are highly adversarial to the things that you want right like because there's a re repetition of negativity or despair in how you think or victim mentality or just a lack of faith or belief or in moments of stress like you know the the mind can get pulled in a lot of different directions and so there's really like only so much we can do by being able to talk about it and for most people who are stuck in that kind of level of mind generally speaking they do experience themselves they don't like to admit this but generally speaking they do like to they experience themselves often as a victim of their circumstances well why is this happening to me why are they doing this to me right we see this a lot in media and in culture and stuff like that and we want to understand that like ultimately if we're going to change the quality of our lives and how we respond to things the knee-jerk response the subconscious unconscious part the part we really don't have access to is really what we want to get underneath to and the language that that speaks is not the same language as your conscious mind. Like your conscious mind can understand things through language. Try through language to tell your unconscious mind to do something different. Like, hey, do that for me. Like you can, you can. I mean, to some degree, rehabituate by through repetition, right? Like, obvious. We have all learned through habit and repetition anyway. However, to be mindful of that, to do it all day long or until this thing changes, it's it's honestly exacerbating. And so we want to understand that underneath that is this level of energetics and awareness. It's this pervasiveness of, of, of that our body is energy, that our, our body is responding to the stimulus of energy in our surroundings, and that the mind is really nothing more than there as an interpreter uh, to what's happening, almost like a narration to what's happening, and the narration is there to attempt to try to keep you safe and have you survive. And so oftentimes what you're hearing in the mind, you're like, why is it saying that, right? It's like, yeah, it's because it's trying to survive and keep you safe. And so it's looking, what's the safest thing to do? Oh, stay home today. You shouldn't go out. They don't like you anyway. You're fat, da, 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 right? Like, and it doesn't say often very kind things to you. And those are the reasons. It knows what buttons to push to have you basically be a couch potato because truth be told, that's the safest place for you to be. Is <laughs> you know, sit on your couch and don't do anything. This, as we all know, does not lend itself to a very high quality, passion filled life, though. Right. And so we want to I think what Elon's pointing at here um, is we want to look at how do we get access to the language of the unconscious. And in that, we really need to start looking at and understanding that everything in nature, everything you see around you is energetics. You are made out of energy. And so if you can uh, begin to understand the 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 nature of this energy within you, you can actually start working with this energy and actually use it to your benefit to start healing aspects of yourself. And, and I'll kind of give a small punchline here. It's it's not about rehabituating the conscious mind. It's about not give or let me say it this way and then I'll, I'll say it a little different. Not giving the conscious mind something to react to. OK, like if. For those of you guys who like to watch a lot of media, you probably live in a lot of anxiety and stress, okay? If you would do a media detox, you would find that you live in less anxiety and stress, right? You're not feeding that part of yourself. And so, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff like that in our systems that we feed consistently and put ourselves in situations that create anxiety and stress. Now, the body feels something, the mind is just reacting, right? The narration that you're feeling. Underneath that, though, again, if you could stop that, that response in the body, if you cannot have this... Uh, over anxious feeling, so to speak, or overwhelmed feeling or stress response in the body, then guess what? The mind doesn't have to react. And this is actually how we can re rehabituate thought, not by telling the mind that we want it to act differently or standing in resistance or trying to manage or cope what the mind is doing, but instead removing the very stimulus in the body or working with that stimulus so it can be removed from the body so that the mind no longer has to be reactive at all. And then the mind will rehabituate itself because the mind is always trying to do things as efficiently as possible. And if it's not needed anymore, like this thing is not, this response, this reactivity is not needed anymore. It just naturally subsides and stops doing that. Yeah. So back to what I was saying, the way, the way that I have found that easiest to get to is by borrowing someone else's 
template of their nervous system. You can't touch these layers on your own. You can touch them, but your system won't allow you to actually go to the depths of them. Um, and you know, what happens, for example, at our intuitive mind, you get a taste of it. But what happens in our awareness effect Academy is that people, especially at level two and level three, they get to sit with us <clears throat> for prolonged periods of time in this field, right? Like their nervous system is literally getting new information and imprinting. And the reason people have the same struggles show up over and over or a cycle of sabotage or broken relationships or struggles around money or, you know, they reach a certain cap in their finances, whatever it might be, is all because there's certain protective mechanisms in our system that were created when you were very, very young, between the ages of, say, zero to seven, eight years old. And those are still running your day to day life. Because internally, the nervous system peeks its head out there, or some impulse happens, it doesn't feel safe, and a, and a protection mechanism comes on. And these protection mechanisms are what run most people's lives. So if you were asking me, like, number one thing would be to find a practitioner that I can sit with on a regular basis, right? And I would the ways that we have noticed healing happen is there's self to self work. So that's like the meditation practice that you do on your own. Also, that would be one of my in, in my top three things. Then there's the self to self. So like you're receiving support from another. That's huge. And then there's group to se group to self or self to group, right? Those three things are absolutely mandatory because there's certain aspects that you're a lot more comfortable in. So you, you live your life around there, but there's other aspects that might be the edge for you, right? Maybe like the one-on-one -on -one is too intimate, but the group is great, or maybe it's the other way around. So I would say sessions with a practitioner. So I have like a nervous system to template. Um, the second thing would be self practices like meditations, uh, things like Qigong, um, things like that have really helped me to, to land and find my body. Um, and if I was to say a third, I think having some sort of like community and accountability um, you know, like I have a dream team of people around me so that whenever I am processing anything or whenever I feel kind of like that discomfort and that unease, whereas before I would try to process my way out of it and figure out, you know, what it was and how it got there and why I feel this way and da, 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 da. Now I'm, I don't give a shit about any of that stuff. I'm just like, I need to sit with someone. Right. And so I have a team of people around me that are able to support me as I'm going through these layers. So yeah, I would say uh, a practitioner, self to self practices, and accountability through, uh, through some sort of community. Yeah. And I think what Elon's like, I just want to give a little bit more detail, you know, like one of the one of the things that make what we do rather different and novel than probably anything else you guys have tried, you know, if, you know, if you have you, you know, how many of you guys have just like read a lot of books on personal development, say I or have taken, you know, a number of courses, say I in the comment box. And and what you may find, and certainly what we found over 15 years of, of doing that work really intensely, again, Elon and I, between our between the two of us have 40 years combined, literally have day in and day out, waking and sleeping, like this is our lives, right? And so for those of you guys who are saying me, 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 it's Caroline over there, and, you know, and for anybody else who's in that boat, like you... Um, you may find that you start noticing this kind of like frustration building in your system, which is like the reality is you're a very wise person, right? You have all the information, like correct me if I'm wrong. When somebody comes to you and they have something going on in their life, you have a different perspective. You usually see what could be beneficial for that person rather clearly. And you may have even become a resource for the people around you. And lo and behold, you become a person of value because of the wisdom that you have. And that's really honorable and, and a beautiful thing. And yet, like deep down, the frustration that we found after like 15 years of doing that work is, yes, hyper knowledgeable, very, very wise. Again, this resource for a lot of people. However, when I feel into the core, like this is actually like going in and feeling your actual experience. It's like, oh, I still feel 
that same trauma. Like I still feel those same challenges. I'm noticing, uh, yeah, it's like the same things arising in my life. The only thing that's re that I really noticed by doing a lot of personal development work is I would notice it much faster and I would have the ability to reframe, change the story, take responsibility, put things back into integrity and kind of like get back to a semblance of balance quicker. But nonetheless, the thing that I've dealt with my entire life, I'm still dealing with. And the fact that you're still dealing with that or, you know, speak for me, the fact that Elon and I felt that we were still dealing with that after that much time and money invested was very frustrating. And when we were coaching people and, you know, rather successfully and to having more success in business and the relationships and stuff like that. And that's what integrity does, by the way. Like if, if you want to just be more successful, just handle your integrity, period. Everything will work out better in your life. Everything without a shadow of a doubt. And like to get people's awareness to a place where they can take radical responsibility and have that level of integrity. Also, that takes quite a bit of work because the way society is set up right now is don't take responsibility. Don't call me out on my shit. I won't call you out on your shit. That's pretty much the structure of society. Right. And that's why a lot of there's a lot of wiggle room for things not to work for people. So that stuff works to that extent. But when it, we're talking about like actually healing something, like the way we define something as healing is you're no longer dealing with that. Like it's just not, it's not part of your mechanistic nature anymore. You're not getting frustrated the way that you used to. You're not uh, sabotaging yourself the way that you used to. Like you'll, you know, and this is what we often say with our clients and, and th that this is what's going to happen for you. And it's going to kind of rock your, your world because it's probably never happened before where you're in a situation which normally you're highly reactive to and, and nothing happens. Like you're just, you know, calm as a Hindu cow, basically. You know, you kind of look up at your mind and you're like, you're really not going to do anything? And the mind goes, no. And, and the reason for this, again, is not because the mind is not re reactive anymore, because the mind is reactive. That's its job is to be reactive. So to ask your mind not to react is to tell the mind not to be the mind anymore, which is to say, I should be dead. So what you really want to look at is what is stimulating the mind to get reactive and create negativity in my life or create, you know, thoughts that are not appealing to my experience. And it, what, if, what you, if you really track this in your own system, it's what's happening energetically inside your body, right? Like if you think about emotions and in our programs, we make a distinction between emotions and feelings, right? One is the content, one is the context. So feelings... You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe I got it right. Feelings is the context. Emotions are the content. And if we were gonna if we were gonna define what an emotion is, it's energy that's in motion, right? Emotion, energy in motion in your body. Now, when energy gets stuck in the body, it creates discomfort in the system, literally in the nervous system, it creates discomfort. And so when there's discomfort in the body, just like when you have pain in your knee or pain in your head or pain anywhere, where does the awareness go? Towards the pain, does it not? Like we don't have a headache and go, all right, you know, well, I'll just think of my toe and the headache will go away. Like you're up there with your headache. You got knee pain. Your, your awareness goes to the pain, right? It's like it's conditioned to do that. And so that should give you some insight to what happens at the level of emotion and feeling and angst and stress and overwhelm. When we have discomfort in our system, the mind is watching and it's reacting. For most of us, though, we have no training and very little awareness about these different energy flows that happen in the body or why energy gets stuck in the first place. And if we were going to define trauma, not from a clinical point of view, but from a spiritual point of view, we would say the trauma is where energy gets stuck in the body. It tries to move, but the, the body contracts because it's scared. It doesn't like this feeling. And then the mind looking at that discomfort has to run some kind of a program either to avoid it or try to get beyond it. And it doesn't work, by the way. It doesn't work to do this. It does like the mind can't fix this. It tries desperately, but it can't fix this. So... What we want to learn, and this is one of the main skills that I want to add in here, and Elon's pointing at it, but I'm just expanding on the idea, is learning how to track yourself. And this is why a self-to-self -self practice, like, like these type of meditations that we're offering here, again, for free, uh, that you can train yourself to do, are so important because what you're going to learn is how to track your own energetic body, which is another way to say it, be very, very attuned to your own nervous system. Okay? When you learn to do this, uh, natural byproducts of this are just being uh, endlessly more compassionate with yourself. 
uh, more safety. You're going to feel more safety in your nervous system and more well-being. And we kind of joke about this when we run our intuitive mind program that we actually want to call, uh, we want to call it the intuitive heart and we want to call it a program that enhances the experience of safety for people. But if we said that to you guys, you wouldn't know what the fuck we're talking about because no one's ever told you to actually feel into your system and re recognize that underneath, if not all, most of humanity doesn't feel safe, doesn't feel safe in their body, doesn't feel safe in their environment, and they're to some degree stuck in a fight or flight response. And you wouldn't know that you are, by the way, until you're not. So if you've lived your life in a fight or flight response for 40 or 50 years, you would just think that's normal instead of recognizing, oh, there's actually a place where I can downregulate my nervous system, actually feel safe and operate from there. And so the next question you might ask yourself is why would I want to operate from there? Okay. And again, looking from a spiritual context, we know that there's a, you know, energy and vibration and frequency in your body and that it's emanating and that energy is informing everything around you. It's informing your relationships and furthermore at the more like macro level, it's informing the way that you experience reality. So if we were thinking of reality as a mirror, we call it a holographic, uh, or like a holographic organism, so to speak, that's just reflecting your inner experience. If your inner experience is one of stress and overwhelm, worry, anxiety, then what shows up in your reality is more things to be overwhelmed by, stressed by, worried by, right? And again, you see these patterns for people who live in these high states all the time. It's like, you know, we say this once in a while, it's like people who are worried tend to have a lot of things to worry about in their reality, right? Well, I might be looking at the same thing and going, I don't know what that person's worried about. And the only difference would be is my state of my nervous system. And that's it. And, and, and another way we say that, again, from a spiritual perspective is how the frequency or the energy in my body is traveling. Okay. And so if I want to really transform my life, I want to have, uh, I want to feel safer and more well-being in my system. I want to feel more authentically connected to the people around me because it's very difficult to feel authentically connected to people when you don't feel safe. I want to be able to more eas easily and gracefully take actions in my life that are consistent with the goals that I have, aka create more success in my life. Would, do you guys think, and answer yes or no in the chat box, that you could do, you would take more actions, even things that you might be afraid of, if the foundation or the groundedness of who you were came from a state of safety, of well-being? Like that's what sourced action in your life or sourcing action from a place of fear, anxiety, overwhelm, worry. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm in those states and I take action, it, shit blows up in my face. Like things get harder for me. And when I'm grounded and kind of in more of a flowy state, my life is significantly easier. And so we want to start recognizing that it's not just the thoughts. It's, it's literally what we're emanating through the field that's generating the experience that we're having. And if we want to alter or have a better experience that we're having, then it's not about changing out here, the circumstances, because that doesn't do anything for changing what's going on in here but it's learning how to actually track your energetic body we we'll call it subtle awareness how do i work with that how do i resolve trauma how do i get energy moving again in my body how do i make my mind less reactive and this is exactly how we do it we start tracking our system and like elon said the other part is sitting with people who've done this for quite some time people like us and we train our entire community to do this and we train everyone to do this so that there's a large group of people all over the world that can support each other in sitting with each other in presence and basically helping one another template what a healthy nervous system is, especially for people who are further along on this path. Their, their, their nervous system has, is now training itself how to downregulate and get into a safer, more energy-rich state. And so when sitting with that person and they have their awareness on you, this has a real biological effect on your nervous system. And we've all heard the stories, right? And I've been around these people where you're sitting with, there with a master and, and you'll just, you, I have chills thinking about it, but how many books have you read or stories you've heard where the person's like, I was around that person and all I felt was love. The emanation mm -hmm. of love. Like they'll describe it in so many different ways or like 
I was suddenly peaceful, right? Why? Or like even the story of Jesus going into a village and everyone is transformed. Why? Because his the emanation from that consciousness, from, from a Christed consciousness, from enlightened consciousness, emanates a different frequency. And we are all energetic beings receiving energetic signaling. And so when you have just one healthy nervous system amongst many unhealthy nervous systems, there's a direct impact on everybody's nervous system. And that goes both ways. A really unhealthy nervous system also has an impact on everyone. Like when you see, you know, quote unquote, a schizophrenic in public or somebody who's doing something kind of violent or screaming, you can't tell me everyone's just walking around and not feeling that unless you live in New York City. Then everyone walks around and pretends like they don't feel that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we know because we lived in New York City for 25 years, but nonetheless, like it's still there. You can feel it, but you're like, oh, I'm going to fucking avoid that and walk this way, right? Like, you gotta, let me get out of here. It doesn't feel good in my system. You can feel it. You're not just thinking it. And, and so that's what we really want to start evolving ourselves to is like there is this incredible undercurrent of subtle energy in our body. And if we learn how to navigate that, then we learn how to navigate life much, much easier. So, so. Did I lose you? No, I'm here. Okay. I just didn't know where you want to take it now. I don't know wherever you want to take it now. Yeah, so look, you know, yeah. I went through a lot of stuff here. So look, you know, here, here's what we what we normally say at this point in time. Here's how you kind of can, can map yourself and where you're at. There's usually three places like people get to. And the first one is, why is this happening to me? Right, you're in a circumstance, your business, your life, your relationships. Something's not working, and the mind's go, mind goes, "Why is this happening to me? I don't like this." Okay, if you're at that stage, first of all, empathy for you. We've all been there. <laughs> and number two is there's there's a that part you can alleviate rather quickly and get to the next the next stage of of, of consciousness. That next stage of consciousness is is getting into uh, an understanding, and you can do this through linguistics rather quickly, by the way, like for those of you guys who participate in, in level one of our work, uh, if you do that work for six weeks, I, I guarantee your experience will shift out of why is this happening to me? Okay, your experience will move to, uh, oh, I see that this is happening for me. Okay, because suddenly through the frame of, of that spiritual context or psychology, you will start recognizing that every single moment that's coming into your life is not here to harm you or hurt you. It's actually trying to teach you. But from where most people have been taught to think and look and speak from, they haven't been able to make that shift. And so they're having difficulty in their life and they're all missed opportunities. And I truly mean opportunities because they were all opportunities for learning how to evolve and transform yourself to a more transcendent place in your life, without a doubt. And so with just a few little tools and understanding some of the mechanisms of how the mind operates, uh, you can get yourself to that point of consciousness actually rather rapidly. I mean, within a few weeks, um, I would say for most people, okay? Um, and obviously there's varying degrees of trauma that people deal with. So some people longer, some people shorter. We can't tell you exactly what it is, but for the most part, we've been running these programs for a long time for tens of thousands of people. We see you know tremendous gains in that period of time. The next part is kind of what we've been highlighting here, which is getting underneath just working with the mind and starting to work with awareness and the energetics. That's what our L2 and L3 programs are about. Okay. And this is where we really introduce you into the, some of the higher states of consciousness and then really how to work with the energetics of the body, not just to manage or cope the way your mind is working, but to resolve these things so your mind doesn't have to manage and cope. And then a funny thing kind of happens. And this is the point, like you can't aim at these things and go, all right, this is where I'm going to go. It just, it just kind of happens spontaneously as you go through this process. And there's a moment of realization through there. And, and again, it just happens in your awareness, but I'm going to articulate it as such, is that instead of it's happening for me, you start seeing that energy is actually creating through you. It's like a, it's like God or energy or the universe is literally manifesting and emanating through your inner experience. And when you start recognizing that, it's, it's a major turning point in one's ability to be with what's happening in their life. And at that point in time, what we have found for a lot of people is they start building this resiliency, this emotional resiliency, this mental resiliency, and their confidence in such a way that they suddenly re recognize that it really doesn't matter what unfolds in their life. They can lose the money, they can come out of the relationship, 
hardships can come. They suddenly are able to uh, have a recognition that at any time they can like they can face what's happening in reality very confidently because they always know how to work with it, not kind of stand against it. And this to me is a really beautiful thing that happens for people because instead of like a false confidence that many people have, like an egotistic kind of confidence, we have to like pump yourself up and like, I'm the best, I'm going to get through this, don't fucking worry about me, like I got this, right? All that kind of shit. Instead you're just like, oh no, no, I actually know that I could be with anything in my life. And that's a really, really beautiful uh, place to be. So, you know, just as kind of to, to highlight everything we've talked about here, because I've talked about a lot and I'm trying to give you like an overview and some maps here and also highlight to you guys like why this work is really different because we're not just talking to you. We're not just explaining to you what's happening in your mind. We're really offering, hey, you can actually come out of this mind. Like I, I kid you not, you don't have to live your life out of the conditioning that you've been given. You, you just don't. And, and this is not just spirituality talking or Elon and the guy's experience. It's very well documented for the last 25 years, you know, since we've had, um, uh, what's it called? Yeah. What's the, not the MRI machines, but the EMRI? FMRI. FMRI, thank you. FMRI machines. We know that the brain can rewire itself. You know, up until 25 years ago, the common thought in all psychology was you're born with what you're born with, you got what you got, and you're fucking stuck with it. In spiritual circles, they didn't believe that, but scientifically, that was the, the prevalent thought. 25 years ago, they started looking at people's brains while they were having experiences, and it got really clear that, oh my god, the brain's rewiring itself and growing, and there's neurogenesis, meaning that there are new pathways being built all the time. The, cell, the cells in the brain don't just die off, they, they recapitulate and come back together and get more and stuff like this, right? So there was a fundamental shift in thinking, and then there was a look from the science community like, well, how do we create more neurogenesis? And I think for a lot of you guys who have uh, done plant medicines and, and those kind of things, you knew that a long time ago. You're like, oh, I have this experience. I start thinking differently. I have this experience. I start thinking differently, feeling differently, right? And so what we want to aim for, psychedelics are great. I think they're awesome when they're done properly and ceremoniously uh, for, for, for therapeutic reasons. And they're still just a tool, like any other tool, right? Like you could, if, if your doctor gives you a pill, and it numbs the pain, but your body's still in pain. If you keep taking that pill for the rest of your life, you're going to kill yourself. Eventually, you have to go deal with the pain. The pill is just a way to avoid the pain. You're not dealing with the pain. And so it's a tool. It's useful for a period of time. And then you need to figure out, well, how do I, you know, get through this and bring my body back into a balanced state? And so that's what we really want to offer here, too. It's like the, these practices are, are fundamental keys for not just living with or avoiding or trying to manage or cope or, you know, glaze over really painful experiences in your life. Like how many of you guys have had really painful experiences in your life? Say I in the chat box, you know, whether it was a heartbreak or a loss of a loved one or a really, you know, difficult physical challenge. Like that's just part of being human. We've all had trauma. We've all experienced very difficult things in our lives even the very wealthy, right? Different challenges, still challenges. And so our offering here is that you don't have to live with that for the rest of your life. Is that going to change in a week from now by going to a, a two-day weekend like with me, Elon and, my, and myself? No, it's not. That's the reality. Like, don't let anybody out there, if you're going to go do a program, tell you that you can change your entire life in three days. That's, that's fucking nonsense. Yeah. You can get the tools and build a new foundation within a short period of time, but you still got to go build the house on top of that foundation. You know, we, we are working with decades for most of us, lifetimes, most of us, lineages for most of us, of repetitive negative, painful behaviors that we have been given and perceived and lived around forever. <laughs> you know, so it's ridiculous to think that by going to like a weekend and doing a few repetitions of an exercise that like suddenly everything is going to turn itself around. The truth be told, like for those of you guys that want to come work with us, come work with us if you're committed. If you're not, we don't want to work with you. We want committed people inside of our community 
who are hungry and committed for their, for their transformation and liberation as a human being. If you are a fly-by-night tire kicker who's here for two days, let me check this out and see if it's good for me. You can check us out, but if you find out that we have everything that we say that we have, this stuff is the shit, and it is. And then you're like, nah, I don't really want to commit to it. I only want to do this weekend thing, and then I'm done. So it's okay. I'm not making you wrong for that, but like, like you got to understand then what you signed up for. You signed up for a cool peak experience that you're probably going to talk about, and it may be useful at different points of your life, but you're not proficient at it. You're just, you know, you're, you're nowhere near proficient at that point in time. Proficiency is, is, is squarely for people who commit to a process. Elon and I are not here in our lives with this level of understanding and wisdom because we took three courses or we got certified as a life coach by some hocus pocus bullshit online. Like we, we live, we live our lives in this way. And you can ask anybody who's employed by us or works with us that like what we talk about here is the way that we run our company is the way that we run our lives is the way that we show up as fathers is the way that we show up as husbands is the way that we show up with our parents. It's just, it, it is, it's the isness of being this way period that all, all ultimately alters fundamentally how you view and express and experience life. And if you want to be that type of person, then it's going to take a level of commitment of time and resources on your part to do that. <sighs> Somebody said, where do you start? Uh, Becca, yeah, I mean, Becca's asked, where do I start? Look, here's the reality. Like, you, you know, you just want to, I think at, at any time, you can listen to me and Elon talk. Maybe this resonates with you. Maybe it doesn't. Here's the thing. Like, give yourself the opportunity to, to explore. I set up calls with people in business and coaching all the time to have conversations with them, whether I have an intention to sign up with them or not. Why? Because I'm, I'm interested in the person and their perspective and their point of view and how they communicate, what they talk about. Sometimes I feel a direct line. It's exactly what I want. I say yes to that and we go figure out how to do it. Sometimes even when we don't have the capital or resources or time to do that, we'll figure it out. And so, you know, this is often what we tell people. It's like, so, hey, go have a conversation with our team. You have a 15-minute complimentary call with them. You can ask all the questions, talk about our programs, and then see if it resonates for you. And if it's a yes, go do something about that. Like, make it happen. Go put yourself in a program. A lot of people are dealing with pain in their life, <clears throat> and then they don't do anything about it. They're just like, oh, I don't know. Something will change this. Like, you know, God will come from the ceiling, or lottery, <laughs> tickets, lottery tickets will fall from the sky. Like, there's a reason we use the word intervention when somebody's having a tough time. Something needs to intervene. You can either wait for life to intervene, usually in a negative way, before you get really motivated to do something about it, or you could be your own intervention. But it's physics. If something is traveling you know, at a certain speed and a certain rate, it's going to keep doing that until something else uh, uh, impacts it and puts its energy and inertia into it, and then it can move in a different direction. The reality is that for most of us, thanks, Sarah. The reality is for most of us is that the the, the perceptions and the conditioning that we were given uh, by our culture, by our governments, by our society, by our religions, put you in into a box and how you think and how you feel and what you can and cannot feel and what you can and cannot think, and that's very painful. <laughs> for a human spirit that that literally just wants to expand in all directions and experience things. And so like, you know, to to break free of that, to truly feel liberated and enlightened. I don't know, I have not found in 20 years any other way other than looking inside. Most people are still trying to change their circumstances to feel better. That will work in the short term and then feel exactly the same very shortly thereafter. People who are who are proficient at anything commit time and resources to do that. Now for us since since the how you feel about life and the fundamentals of everything that you do have to do with consciousness and awareness and your mind it means everything in life will get easier for you if you understand how your consciousness and your mind and energy works in your body. Like if you, if you were really proficient at that, then anything else that you do career-wise, business-wise, familial, your health, everything gets easier. Everything gets easier. Everything gets easier. And so to us, it's a little like, you know, if you're here and you're listening, then come do something about it. Whether it's just a two-day event to dip your toes in the water, or if you're like, I really want to make a change in my life, then 
jump into some programs and let's party baby you know let let it let us show let us show you what we got and we're not a we're talking from a place of hopefully experience hopefully that's coming off and number two is having taught this to tens of thousands of people so we know that it really really works and it's not something that works for some it's something that works for all as long as they're committed and participate and anybody here who's you know in the comment box who's done our work would corroborate that and we have testimonials up the wazoo to corroborate that this work fundamentally changes the way that people feel, think, and perceive their life and relationships. So I'll leave it at that. And Becca, you know, so the next the next uh, step for anybody that wants to, uh, sorry, kicker here is if you want to set up the call above this video, there's a link, uh, callsatori.com. That will um, help you book your 15-minute free call. Uh, if you can't locate that for whatever reason, just in the comment box, say contact me. And then one of our team members will uh, reach out to you and send you um, a message on Messenger and help you get that set up. But, you know, messages going back and forth can be sloppy. So if you know you want to set up a call, just go to callsatori.com and book yourself in their calendar right now. Anything you want to add? Nope. <laughs> just let me talk all day. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right, guys. So we'll we'll end it there. Um, if you have any questions for Elon or myself, again, you can you can tag us and, and drop it in the comment box. However, you know our time is uh is often getting pulled in a lot of different directions. So by far the easiest thing to do is book a call. And again, you're not you're not committing to anything by doing that call. We don't sell you anything on that call unless you beg us beg us to you know sell you something. Basically, you're like, yes, I want to join a program right now. Fantastic, we can do that. Um, so, you know, feel, feel good that you can just explore. Um, I, think you'll, I think you will be pleasantly surprised and extremely elated by your participation in this work. And I really, re really, really recommend that you find some way to participate in it. And if for the time being you just want to hang out and be part of these Tuesday Lives while you kind of get a feel for the community, uh, Elon and myself, because certainly, you know, teachers... You got to find the right teacher for you that you can vibe with and connect with. Uh, that's important as just as important as anything else. Um, and do that until you're ready to explore that. And we're happy to keep coming back here and offering these teachings for you and these perceptions so you can kind of get a taste of it. Just realize that us talking about it, even if you understand what we're talking about, is not what we're talking about. Uh. What what if you want this work in your life? It's a direct experience. It is not understanding. If you want understanding, go read more books. But not applying anything is all you're going to have is just more information gathering. And gathering information does not change the quality of your life. It makes you sound smart when you talk to your friends, like you know something, but the quality of your life doesn't change. There's only one way to transform your life, and that's to have new and novel direct experiences that shift the way that you think and feel. And that can only happen from actually doing something that's going to give you an experience of how to shift your being, your state of being. Otherwise, you're just going to talk about it for a long time. And a lot of people are stuck in talking about it. They think talking about it or thinking about it is like taking action. That's not true. Taking action is taking action. You're either sitting or standing. There's no trying to sit. There's no, I'm going to think about sitting. Then they're just talking about it. You're not doing anything. You know, there's a lot of things that Elon and I do that we simply do because they, they feel good to us. And something we learned a long time ago is that if you want to do something, you're a yes to doing something, figure it out. Become resourceful. Figure out how to make it happen. Because otherwise, the, what you're experiencing now fundamentally is what you're going to experience down the road as well. Like I said, something has to intervene. So if you're, you've been sitting on the fence, you've been sitting on the sidelines, and you're like, yes, I want to do this work, and... I'm sorry, let me say this another way, but you have your reasons for not doing it, right? Like, but not enough money, but not enough time. Okay, then that's going to be your future too. When another another opportunity comes that can help you, not enough time, not enough money. And like, how much of your life are you going to give away to your, your small self, to your reasons? And a lot of us give up a lot of life for those buts. So it's like, you know, Elon and I have had many situations in our lives where the finances weren't there. We didn't have the time. We just knew that that experience would fundamentally alter the way we live our lives. We said yes. And, and something magical happens when we say yes and allow ourselves to experience 
a yes. The, the energetic fields move mountains for you to make something happen, like something spontaneously happens and allows for that to take hold. Most of us have never even risked that yes because we're so afraid of feeling disappointed if it doesn't work out. You might as well play the fucking game. You might as well say, yeah, I'm going to play that game. I'm going to try to figure this shit out. I'm going to try to get myself, in, like, not try. I'm going to get myself in there. I'm going to do what it takes to get myself in there. I'm going to have conversations with people. I'm going to ask for support. I'm going to go put somebody aside. Like, you know, whatever it is that you got to do. Otherwise, life is, for the most part, going to look the same. And if you're sick of life looking the same, you got to do something. So hopefully this is a little call to arms for you guys. Um, you know, our next event is towards the end of November. There's a lot of work you can do between now and then by joining our programs. Uh, we'd love to support you. Our community would love to support you. There's an incredibly loving, compassionate family here behind the scenes that most of you guys don't get to see or interact with. that are part of our programs and more of our um, you know, advanced groups and communities and stuff like that. I mean, it's amazing once you're part of it. You know, So come and see what we got. We love you all. Thank you for your awareness and attention today. We will see you next time. And next time I'll let Elon talk for more than five minutes. Bye, everybody.